Hey, what's up guys? Grown the Hobby coming back to you guys with another baseball break. The start of a very special baseball break, or series of breaks, I should say. Uh, with the new baseball season in full swing here and stuff like that. Um, I've been working on a project here for the last, honest to gosh guys, probably year and a half or so at least. You know, maybe more. Um, if you guys were hockey fans and checked out my series where I traveled through all the years of Upper Deck and stuff like that. Um, I was going to attempt to do the same thing with baseball and tops. However, financially, it's just absolutely ludicrous, quite frankly, and insane to try to get a pack of every single year of baseball cards from tops, you know, from like their inception to, to present date and stuff like that. Um, but in the last year and a half, I have acquired quite a few packs. Um, I've kind of, like I said, you know, financially decided that, you know, enough is enough. I have enough into these. Uh, packs and stuff like that at this point it's just you know for the the players you can pull and the cards you can pull well you know it's breaking breaking is fun but uh you know i'm much better off to just buy some of the players if i wanted them um but uh yeah that being said i kind of capped off the packs where i'm at which is probably my gosh guys i don't even know we probably got a total of around 60 maybe even more packs um that we're going to be breaking here in this series um, so it's going to be sporadic and stuff because I don't have all the years. Like I said, guys, I absolutely don't have all the years. But uh, I'm going to give you a quick overview here, and then we're going to tell you how we're going to get into breaking these and stuff like that. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do one pack from all the tops from 1980s. So 1980 all the way through 1989. That's all these packs right here. Uh, we got a pack of every single year. And uh, the big thing, too, with these breaks, I should tell you guys, is these are going to be all hobby packs. Everything's hobby packs. Um, obviously, in the 80s and stuff like that, these were all hobby packs. But uh, you guys will see present date. They're all hobby packs. No retail packs or anything like that. So they're a little bit more pricey than your average uh, pack and stuff like that, obviously. But uh, that's going to be the break for today. So we're going to do the 80s here to kind of kick this off. Then we're going to fast forward ahead because uh, most of the packs I really focused on were like 2010 through present date. Um, you know, like 2000 through 2009, I've seen quite a bit of stickage in the cards and the, what they're asking for individual packs. It just doesn't make sense. So I'll tell you guys, honestly, I skipped anything from 2000 to 2009. We just don't have that. But, uh, you know, after that point, <laughs> we got a heck of a lot of crazy packs. I mean, we got 2010 through present date, a pack, a hobby pack of every single series. So series one, series two, and update, you know, including the big boys, like 2011 update, you know, 2012, looking for the Bryce Harper, the Mike Trout rookies, all that stuff like that. Um, you know, and uh, continue with the overview, you know, 13, 14, 15, uh, let's see, 16, 17, 18, you know, Series 1, Series 2 update. We got 19, Series 1, Series 2 update, 2020. You know, and then 21 is where I actually kind of capped it right around 21. Then I got some miscellaneous packs that we never really put in, you know, to any of these breaks I'm going to do. So I'm going to do a kind of culminating GTH box. The GTH will be back for the final uh, video to this series, of which it's going to be a mix of packs and stuff like that. But, you know, in that box, we're going to have 93 Series 1 looking for the Jeter. How about a 1979 hobby pack looking for the Aussie Smith rookie? How insane would that be to pull that? You know, we got 91, 90, 94. I mean... That's just the leftover packs, you know. So uh, this is going to be about a six-part series, I'm going to say. Probably with the packs I've acquired and stuff. We're going to do um, right around, you know, ten packs at a time on each video. This is going to be the only video that has the long intro like this, guys. And I apologize, you know, for a four-minute intro. But just want you guys to know what's going on here. And this was a lot of time and effort and, you know, financially a lot of money uh, to get just even these packs acquired and stuff like that. And to, to kind of move towards this break and stuff. And, you know, like I said... I'm busy watching baseball, even though my Pirates are getting kicked around a lot of times. Um, definitely in the in the baseball season spirit and stuff like that. Uh, you know, coaching Little League and stuff like that for my son's team as well. You know, it really helps. And, you know, I'm just I'm, I'm excited and I just want to kind of do this. So, uh, yeah. Today, like I said, guys, we're going to do 10 packs here. The 1980s is going to kick off this series. I'm probably, for this one, going to go kind of reverse chronological order because I'm definitely more excited to open, like, 1980 over the 89. Um, so I'm going to kind of build the anticipation. And with that being said, guys, no more delays. Let's just get right into this. Like I said, guys, this is going to be, looks like, about a six-part series. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Hopefully we get some mammoth pulls. I got a whole bunch of kind of one-touches here at the side and stuff ready to go. Um, but, yeah, guys, let's see what we can do. 
and like I said, we're going to kick this off right off the bat with 1989 tops. Um, Craig Biggio, you know, rookie cards in here. I, I'm not going to hit on every single rookie card in every pack just to tell you guys, you know, the, who we're looking for for everything. But, you know, some of them I'm going to touch on here. A lot of decrepit gum, obviously, in the 80s and stuff will come across that. I'm not going to eat any of that today. But uh, for me, 1989, I would probably like to pull the Jim Abbott uh, uh, draft choice, number one draft pick, rookie card. I've already have it in my collection, but a lot of respect for Jim Abbott. Um, so, yeah, let's get right into it, guys. So 1989 tops begins us here. Dennis Boyd, Rob Dibble, Robin Yount, Hall of Famer there. Camposano, Tom Prince, former Bucko there, Brian Harper, Ellis Burks, uh, all-star card of Alan Trammell, Daryl Strawberry, we'll be hunting his rookie here momentarily, and Ramon Martinez, so nothing crazy in the 89 pack, I didn't figure there would be though, 88, I'm also not really anticipating anything too crazy in here, the bigger pulls are going to be the earlier years as we go down through this and stuff like that. If you guys are wondering, these are not tampered with packs. At least they're not supposed to be. These are all from uh, Baseball Card Exchange, all these 1980s packs, and uh, including the 79 pack that we'll get to in the uh, future break here in this series. But anyway, guys, the 1988 pack here, kind of the big one here is the Tom Glavin rookie. Um, there's some decrepit gum there for you. Uh, Ken, Ken Caminetti rookie is in here as well, but uh, definitely the Tommy Glavin. It's going to be the big boy of the two. Not tremendous value, but uh, it would be a cool pull. To be able to get that there and i'm just going to skip most of these inserts you're going to find these in pretty much all these 80s packs uh let's see what we can do in this one anybody any big names or anything like that nolan ryan there we go there's a big name for sure any day you pull nolan ryan is a very good day sheets tony fernandez jeff reed mark davis vaughn hayes and george bell all-star card to finish us out in that pack so that nolan ryan is definitely my favorite card uh, to date here on this break 1987 looking for the Barry Bonds rookie which I pulled several times here on the channel and stuff like that the Bo Jackson rookie would also be a nice one to pull uh, as well Barry Larkin you can find him in here uh, Raphael Palmero rookie as well but definitely the Bonds and the uh, Bonos baseball Bo Jackson rookie card would be nice uh, let's see pull this little insert out of there and you'll recognize the 87, very famous kind of looking. Everybody recognizes this wood grain design there from 87. Pretty instant to recognize that. Julio Cruz starts us off Bob Rogers' manager card. Uh, let's see if we can get anybody big here. Scott McGregor, Greg Pryor, nobody big so far. Dwayne Murphy, a couple of manager cards so far in this one. Dave Steeb, Dale Sweem, Pedro Guerrero, and a Ken Shrum. So nothing really crazy in there, but that's okay. 86 is going to be kind of our final duddish year, I guess you could say. 86 tops. Doesn't have, you know, tremendous value in most of these. Uh, it, it's a very recognizable set again with the black borders. Really hard to get, like, PSA 10s on anything from 86 tops. But uh, for me, I have some fond memories. It was the first ever pack I opened as a kid was 86 tops. The decrepit gum sticking to it there. But uh, real quick, guys, for the 86 tops, Ozzie Gann rookie, uh, Lenny Dykstra rookie, Cecil Fielder rookie, uh, Harold Reynolds rookie. And then Roger Clemens, uh, believe it or not, it's not his rookie, but Roger Clemens, the base card, is actually the most valuable card that you can pull out of the set. So we'll see if maybe we can pull that as well. Nice former buck over there, Sid Bream. I remember him growing up for sure. Uh, looks like these are going to be every which way, of course, to just drive us nuts. So hopefully we don't have to encounter this many times during these uh, tops breaks that we're going to do here. Milt Thompson. Uh, Bob Baylor. Britt Burns, Brian Dayett. That's a nice one coming up. If you guys didn't see there behind that Storm Davis, how about a Cal Ripken All-Star card? Pretty cool pack, fresh card right there. Nice, showing off his ribbies. Uh, Craig Reynolds, Rick Manning, Daryl Evans, Ricky Henderson. How about that in the Yankees uniform? That is uh, not used to seeing many cards like that to pull that pretty quick. But, uh, yeah, Ricky Henderson, the Yankees uniform. We'll be hunting his rookie card here momentarily uh, in that 1980 pack. Hopefully we can pull that. Pete Rose, kind of through the years cards there, showing off some of his stuff. Pete Rose years. It's a pretty cool insert there. And then Dave Rosima finishes us off there. So not a bad little pack there. Nothing tremendous value, but some pretty cool reminiscing. 
Now we get to the chances where, uh, you know, kind of the, the prices of the cards, if you pull the big rookies and the right rookies, they definitely go up here. 1985 tops. Now we're starting to talk about some bigger names. How about the Mark McGuire rookie card? You can definitely find that here. Kirby Puckett rookie is going to be your second best. This is just price-wise, guys. And Roger Clemens is third. And then Dwight Doc Gooden in fourth. Uh, along with Earl Hershiser, actually, as well. Should definitely not neglect to mention him. So uh, let's see if we can pull any of those guys. I think I pulled them all on this channel, to be honest, in different pack breaks and stuff. We'll see if we can get lucky enough to maybe have a little bit of magic here today. So Larry Herndon, uh, another manager card there, Jim Fanning. Cecil Cooper. Uh, Dickie Knowles. There we go. Doc, I'll take it. Doc Gooden record breaker card. Not too bad, not too bad. I mean, uh, nothing absolutely crazy, obviously, and stuff like that. This is not his uh, actual base rookie card or anything like that, if you're wondering. But uh, it is technically a rookie card there for Dwight Doc Gooden, record breaker card. So I'll take it. Technically, a oh, is that? Nope, it's not. <laughs> Shoot, guys. Shoot, I thought we had the Mark McGuire. That is not going to be the Mark McGuire behind this John Tudor. It is a Scott Bankhead. But that is uh, the USA Baseball is the Mark McGuire rookie card. I should have brought one of those for the background today. But, uh, yeah, that would have been sick to pull that. Bill Russell, Pete Vukovic, and that's, I oh know, we got a little bit of stickage here behind the Pete Vukovic. Oh, Bob McClure with uh, that gum must have just seeped through, as you guys can probably kind of see. Look at that gum damage. That's one of the big dangers of uh, holding on to the packs over the years and stuff like that, guys. You will incur gum damage, uh, you know, water damage, moisture, all that stuff like that. You can definitely get your cards. All right, here we go, 1984. So looking for Donnie Baseball here, personally. Don Donnie Mattingly, a uh, rookie card can be found in here. Uh, Daryl Strawberry, Andy Van Slyke, those are kind of the big three. I'll have to pull me a Van Slyke rookie. I actually don't think I have one, which is really weird as a Buccos fan. Um, that would be really cool. Oh, that gum is absolutely attached to the last card. Hopefully it's nobody big. I'm going to leave that on there for now. 83 leading fireman, Dan Cuisenberry and Al Holland. That's a pretty cool looking card. Show you guys the back of that real quick if you're wondering there. All right, then we got Ron Jackson. Uh, career home run leaders, Mike Schmidt, Tony Perez, Dave Kingman. Randy Johnson, not to be confused with the pitcher. Uh, Doug Sisk. Lots of these uh, kind of combo cards here. So Bob Forsch, Dave Forgetti, and Mike Warren, 83 highlight card. Alan Ramirez, Dave Steeb, and Lloyd Mosby, batting leaders. There's that little insert there with one run as you kind of collect that for their game. Flip it around here for Tug McGraw. Terry Kennedy. Uh, Frank Viola. Not looking too great here. Jose Morales. And this is the gum damage card. It's a Bob Dernier or Dernier. Uh, kind of attached to that with the gum there. So nothing crazy. Luckily, that last card was not one of the, uh, the big guys that we were looking for there. All right, guys, moving right along here. 1983 is next on uh, on deck here, I guess you should say. Uh, so 1983, guys, 1983. Some big rookies in here again. Ryan Sandberg, definitely uh, up there in the top one, probably tied with Tony Gwynn. Wade Boggs coming in, I guess, at uh, number two after 1A and 1B. And oh, who else do we have? The Cal Ripken Jr. second year card is actually the uh, the fourth most valuable card here. So... Yeah, let's see what we can pull out of here, guys. 1983 tops. Let's get one of those big three rookies or the Cal Ripken Jr. second year card. Hopefully we get at least one big rookie out of these packs today. Uh, Dale Murphy, as you guys can see on the back there with the attached gum. At least that one came off for us. All right, let's see what we can do, guys. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully get a little bit of luck here. Like I said, guys, Ryan Sandberg, Tony Gwynn, Wade Boggs. Let's go. Glenn Wilson, Goose Gossage right there, Rich Gossage, better known as Goose. Tom Seaver, vet card. Larry Milbourne. Pedro Guerrero and Fernando Valenzuela. Batting and pitching leaders. That's a pretty cool card right there. Very early in Valenzuela's career. Ron Jackson. Mike Marshall. Ted Simmons, super vet card. There's our little insert uh, with our kind of scratching game and stuff like that. Set that over there. Do our flip. John McLaughlin. Luis De Leon, Dave Rigotti, or Rigetti, sorry. Bake McBride, come on. 
Randy Moffitt, Tim Laudner, and there's our Dale Murphy, which is probably the best card, at least for me, out of uh, that pack there at Dale Murphy. I always liked him growing up there. All right, so again, nothing too insane there and stuff. 82 tops, guys. I mean, this is absolutely, you know, head, head above heels here uh, with a big card here. You're looking for the Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card for sure. Um, hands down, that's the biggest card you can get here. Other than that, the Francona Mill Smith rookie combo card is, uh, you know, it's up there as well, along with the Nolan Ryan uh, base card. Those are kind of 2A and 2B for the value, but it's definitely all about the Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card here, and that's uh, who I would like to pull for sure here. Let's see what we can do there. The gum at least just falls right off. Bigger gum you kind of got earlier in the years there, so a little bit of... I guess residue on that top guard as well. Gary Ward starts us off, though. Mark Bombeck. Ken Clay. Andy Rincon. Moose Haas. Fernando Valenzuela. I'll take that. That's actually a really, really cool card. I've never pulled that exact card. Uh, that is pretty cool. Uh, I'm trying to take a quick look here if I can see a, a value here. Uh, just right off the top of my head, guys, for this one. Uh, I can't find a value right in front of me there, but it's a couple dollars. You know, it's very early in his career. Cool looking card. Definitely keep that one. Stan Poppy. Uh, let's see here. We, hey. Oops. Actually, I missed the sticker, guys. Let's show you guys the uh, Cliff Johnson sticker that just kind of fell right in there. But I uh, got kind of carried away here looking at the Eddie Murray and Mike Schmidt and stuff being featured here on the Home Run Leaders card. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, looks like we got a flip here for Steve Carlton. Another Hall of Famer right there. Highlights card. My gosh, by the way, guys, look at that. Pretty much the what's going on here interesting uh kind of photo checklist card jim tracy freaking john wathan future stores nothing too crazy there and then bill campbell so the valence valence whale is definitely the uh the big card for me in that one 1981 tops nothing really crazy here as far as rookies go um Kirk Gibson, Harold Baines. I mean, those are a couple of the decent ones. Fernando Valenzuela, Mike Sosha. Uh, combo rookie is in here. That's probably the biggest rookie you can pull out of here. But the Ricky Henderson, believe it or not, trumps it all here with his second-year card. An Owen Ryan base card is also pretty valuable. Um, but, yeah, let's see what we can do here. Come on. 1981 tops. It's been a while since I've opened a pack of this. All right, Chris Chamblis. Stearns, Ed Ott. Making sure it felt like we had a card sticking there. Pete, I love that name. <laughs> I don't want to say it. Julio Cruz, Rick Manning, Jerry White, Junior Kennedy. There's our little insert here uh, for our scratchers and stuff like that. If you're wondering what those looked like. Mike Lacoste, Dick Tedro. Yeah, Nahord. <laughs> yeah, him. <laughs> Dan Petri, Rick Honeycutt. Bill North and Bob, oh, oh man, Ochenko, Ochenko, my gosh. My name you say every day, yeah. So here we go, guys, 1980 tops. Hopefully we saved the big one here for the end. It's obviously all about the Ricky Henderson rookie here. Um, Ozzie Smith second year card, Nolan Ryan base card, those are our big three. But definitely Ricky Henderson. I have the Ricky Henderson rookie ungraded, the, just the raw card, but never pulled one for myself. Uh, you know, insane value on a PSA 10, one of those and stuff. I don't expect to pull that here, but just to pull a raw Ricky Henderson pack fresh, that would be awesome. Like I said, I've never done that before. I thought it'd be so cool to be able to do that, but, uh, it's going to take a lot of luck, guys. A lot of luck because it's a big set, a lot of cards. It's going to take a heck of a lot of luck. Ross Grimsley, Dan Spilner, Mike Jorgensen, Phil Garner, former bucko there, obviously, Bob Watson, John Curtis. Dave Roberts, man, I got a little bit excited there seeing the A's colors and stuff. Jamesian, Indians team card. Looks like we got a flip here. Eddie Putman. Yeah, Joe and Phil Necro, Mike Flanagan. I like that one, the victory leaders there. Uh, Barb, Bob Horner. Rick Honeycutt. Getting down to it, Yankees team card. And last but not least, we're not going to do it. It's going to be a Rudy May to finish off that break, guys. So nothing crazy, no big rookies, unfortunately, out of this, you know, huge stack of cards there. One pack for every year, 1980 through 89. 
Still a fun little break. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, it's a shame how much the cost of wax is anymore. You know, I did this a lot on the channel before, but the price of these packs has just whew, gone way, way up, especially the, you know, 80 through about 84, 85. Those packs are just through the roof. But yeah, guys, we're going to be skipping ahead and stuff here coming up. We're going to be doing, I think the next video is going to be, yep, 2010 through 2012. So these nine packs here are featuring, I even need to tell you guys, the 2011 pack there of update looking for Mike Trout. We'll be looking for the Bryce Harper rookie as well. But uh, yeah, guys, please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Well, lots more of them coming to you guys, as always, in the description below. You can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, a great night wherever y'all are at, and we will see you next time.